What's up everyone? Got another pretty cool video for you today. Uh, you'll notice there's a new addition to the Redstone Village, this nice little quaint hut in the back. And that is to show you questing. That's right, questing in vanilla Minecraft. This uses nothing but command blocks and is possible via the new stat and achievement uh, scoreboard variables. So we'll jump right back into this and I warn you though. This one is very complex. Uh, it's easy enough to understand step by step, but if you look at it all from a whole perspective, you're going to get lost. So, as always, all the commands are in the description below. You can pause it, and I'll try my best to show you each command individually and how the circuits operate, so you can replicate this on your own. And let me go into game mode uh, survival real quick. Run into this little hut, and we'll start. Now, you'll notice that there's a villager named Betty. Behind the counter, there is a light flashing above her head, and there is a talk button. Now, if this doesn't grab your attention, holy crap. There is nothing in Minecraft that could grab your attention aside from lava and a boss bar at the top of the screen. So, now, before I press this button, there are going to be command blocks running, but command block output has been turned off for ease of showing off how this works at first. Uh, rest assured, I'll show you that later on. Uh, here we go. Hit the button. You see the scoreboard pops up, and she says, Thank goodness you're here. I need some more wood for the furnace. Think you could help? Great, thanks. Axe and logs are out back. I need at least five. Uh, and you'll notice scoreboard variables off to the side as a quest log pops up, and it says... Logs gathered, Charles, and zero. Now, as I walk back here, you'll notice the backyard's been populated with logs. Uh, you can hit right here for a new axe. And let's start chopping these down. As I gather a piece of wood, it will increment up one. And there is a nice little glitch. I'm not sure if they meant to do this or not. But if they merge together into one stack, it only counts as one. So just bear in mind that. But as you mine this all, you'll notice that it pops up. And here's six. I load one stack. There's seven and eight. So pretty easy. Just go in here. And you'll notice instantly she says, that's perfect. Thanks. I get a level. The light's back to flashing. And I can redo the quest if I want to. Now, uh, you might be wondering, I now have an axe. In adventure mode, an axe is a form of weapon and you can use for PvP slaughter. So, like any rational person, I made an auto deposit. It takes away the axe, it takes away wood when you leave. So, there you go. And... Let's see here, and I'll switch right back in and let you guys see how this all works. Alrighty then, moving right along. Uh, I'll do a quick pass through here, uh, and I'll show you where all the command blocks are hidden, and then I'll go through step by step and show you how the command blocks operate. Uh, the easiest circuit by far is the light on top of Betty's head, and the axe taking away uh, action that happens as you get uh, 18 block radius away. Uh, that's just hidden in the roof, pretty simple. Going on into the house from the Betty actions herself, all of the dialogue and the quest, uh, she runs off this mechanical timer here, uh, and these couple command blocks that are situated in this T pattern and these. Uh, this is just dialogue and quest completion. Uh, the button here itself moves outside of the house. You'll notice it wraps around and goes down outside to all of these command blocks. Now, this looks like holy crap, that's a lot of commands. But in reality, all of these are just spawning wood blocks, so it's pretty simple. And the one over here is just setting your scoreboard. So, there's two dialogues, a bunch of spawn blocks, one scoreboard, and I believe uh, two more uh, scoreboards. So it's really not that bad. Uh, oh, and the last and fourth and final one here. Push the button for new axe. It's just simple, give you an axe. So, moving on step by step, here's the top. 
Now, you'll notice there's a double circuit here. Now, both leading to the lamp. The first line that it goes through activates constantly. This is if you're not on the quest and you don't have the quest active, it will flash the light over Betty's head. And this command block right down here is just trying to remove uh, an axe from anyone's inventory that tries to leave this house. Uh, but this command block right here says test four and it just tests four people within a four block radius of Betty and make sure that they're on the quest. If they are on the quest, it makes the light solid and gives you the clear notification that you're on the quest. Uh, going on down here, we'll do the Betty dialogue next. Uh, this mechanical timer is everything to do with uh, completing the quest and her talking to you if you have not completed the quest yet. Right here, it tests for uh, you coming into the shop with more logs than one, but less than the required amount. So you started the quest, you just haven't finished it yet. And in doing that, Betty will just tell you, I need a bit more. The just easy completion goes on there. Uh, as you exit, it resets, and so on. This next one here is checking that you've got all five. Uh, you've got to have at least five for the quest completion, as Betty tells you. And we'll go into these blocks right here. The one on the bottom is just a scoreboard. Uh, it sets your uh, scoreboard variable from 5, 6, 7, whatever you gathered, to negative 1, so you're not actively on the quest anymore. Uh, it Betty tells you that it's perfect, thanks. Uh, the next one just clears your inventory of all logs. Uh, the scoreboard objectives is cleared, so you no longer see logs gathered and it gives you one level. Pretty simple stuff, but all in all, when you look at it from the macro scale, it looks pretty bad. Uh, here's the button. The button actually doesn't do anything inside the house. Uh, it runs out and through this wall here to activate this command block, which sets uh, your score to zero, so you've started the quest, you've just not gathered anything. It basically sets the achievement itself. So the scoreboard uh, objective that you have to add is an achievement dot mine wood. It's instead of a dummy variable, it's checking an achievement variable that's in the background. This is it increments one for every log that you mine. Uh, on mine is a relative term for Minecraft, but still, uh, for every log you mine, it increments up one. So that sets that. This next one is if you click the button again and you're just wasting her time essentially, uh, it, she screams at you, get my wood, my bread will not cook itself. Uh, it's just a little gimmick in case you're messing around and you keep pushing the button, maybe trying to spawn wood or trying to glitch out the system, who knows. Uh, going on from there, the signal wraps around and hits each one of these. All of these are the same, I don't really need to go on and show them, it's just set block in different area, Minecraft log. So pretty simple, not much to look at. Uh, this far side over here is another pretty simple one, just scoreboard objective set display. Uh, it makes the sidebar show the quest log so that you know how many you've gathered so far. And the last and final thing that activates along this circuit is the two dialogues. Uh, in this case, this is where she says, thank goodness you're here. Uh, I need some more wood for the furnace, think you can help. And it says, thanks, the logs and axe are out back, I need at least five. Pretty simple stuff, not that difficult, just like I said, from the macro, holy crap, it's a big deal. Uh, this was a fun project, I have to admit. Uh, I didn't think you could do this in vanilla Minecraft, but I was tinkering around with it today. It ended up being really fun. Hope it helps you all. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, leave a like if you liked the episode, and I'll talk to you guys later.